think of the Canary Islands and images of sun, sea and several other holiday cliches probably spring to mind. But in the north of Gran Canaria, more than 50 young ballers are pursuing their hoop dreams at the Canarias Basketball Academy. And believe us, this ain't no holiday camp. They push you. The amount of times I've heard the words faster, harder, stronger, that's all they scream at you when you're doing these drills. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Nah, 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 that, that, that don't kill me. Can only make me stronger. I need you to hurry up now. Cause I can't wait much longer. I know I got to be right now. Cause I can't get much stronger. Man, I've been waiting all night now. That's how long I've been on ya. Here at the CBA, the kids get nothing but a strict diet of drills and discipline. The majority of them from Britain, they've come here to get the coaching, facilities, experience and playing time they simply couldn't dream of back in the UK. The Canarias Basketball Academy was set up in 2007 by Rob Orellana. After 15 years as an assistant head coach in Division I college basketball in the States, he moved to the islands to become the head of youth development for Gran Canaria's ACB team. Having seen the American high school dream fail for so many young players, he thought the European route might be a better fit for lots of kids looking to make it as a pro. Uh, my travels through Europe um, made me realize that there was a hole that wasn't being filled by the American high school uh, system. Uh, many kids were coming back, and, and not just from the UK, but many kids from all over Europe. Their coaches would tell me how disappointed they were and how kids were coming back from the States. And I thought that the academy could be that bridge for that young man, whether he'd be from the UK or be from any other parts of the world, to a US college or university or a professional team in Europe. So that's why we established uh, the Canaries Basketball Academy. Right from the get-go, Rob had an ace up his sleeve. He'd helped to develop young Brit Joel Freeland over in Gran Canaria, and when he was drafted to the NBA, it put the tiny island off the coast of Africa firmly on the basketball map. With that feather in his cap, Rob opened the academy. Its selling points were his experience of both the US and European game, and the fact it gave kids a chance to train virtually like pros. Where they come from, they haven't had the opportunity to train as much as we train here. Uh, we train here five times a, day, a week, uh, sometimes six, six times a week if there's no games on the weekend, and we, we train you know, between two and three times a day. Uh, so uh, we try, in, 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 in the athletic point of view or in the basketball point of view, we try to combine a, the American system with the European system. We try to in install the toughness, the aggressiveness, the, the hunger of playing basketball that you would have in an, an American player with, a cl with the technique and the, and the fundamentals of a European player. So if you can combine a great uh, fundamental basketball player who can shoot, who can pass, who can dribble with both hands, who can see the floor, and you can combine that with a tough kid, an aggressive kid, a hard-working kid, uh, I think then you have a pretty good basketball player. So we, we offer that opportunity to, to be able to get a great education. We offer that uh, opportunity to get great basketball daily and uh, in, in a 10-month period, whereas in high schools in the States, uh, you're going to get basketball in, in a three-month period, and then you're going to be relegated to an AAU team in, a, in the spring, in the summer, and you're not going to train. You're just going to play, so you're not going to get better individually. Some of the academy attendees we spoke to during our time out there were returning for their second year, whilst newbies had been there for just a month. But all of them had nothing but positive things to say about the effect CBA had had on their game. It's tough, but just what, just uh, realising how better you are on Friday than you are on Monday, it's definitely worth it. So you've been, you, do you think just in the time you've been here already, do you think there's been improvement? Yeah, if I, if I was able to play myself uh, four weeks ago, I uh, smashed myself. <laughs> it's uh, hard work is the only way. That's that's what pays off. And uh, the coaches are very pas passionate about what they do. And they want the players to be here for one reason, and that's be better every day. In the first four weeks, I've learned more than I did the whole season in four months in Indiana. So without a shadow of a doubt, I know I'm going to be a better player from this, definitely.
I don't feel like anywhere back home in England or anywhere else could really give me the opportunity like this place is going to give me. I make the French team after one year. I never make an, that in 10 years in France. And I make, I make French team after, after one year. So that was good. I improved a lot of my game. And people can see it when I uh, go back to France this year. Why do you think that is? What is it that they do here that makes you so much better? There are a lot of coaches and they push, uh, they push uh, us every day. So it's good. And, and Rob, Rob is, a, is a good coach. Glowing endorsement from the kids then. But Rob says the success stories the academies already had speak for themselves. We've signed 14 players to Division One scholarships in two years. Of those 14 players, 10 have been uh, English English basketballers. Uh, and uh, for for a, a young academy as, as we are in two, in their in, this fir in their first two years in infancy, to be able to send 10 English boys to American universities, whereas maybe they wouldn't have had the opportunity to go to a Division One university in the United States, I think is a is a pretty darn good accomplishment. When they're not playing or training, which to be honest doesn't seem to be that often, CBA students live in apartments on a university campus. Modern and clean, these are certainly better than most uni digs I've ever experienced back home. And of course it goes without saying that the weather's better too. Another advantage the academy claims over US high schools is the fact that with so many like-minded British kids here, it's almost like a home away from home. Everyone's got the same uh, goal here, all going for that Division 1, Division 2 or pro contract. So we've all got the same interests, same aspirations. We're all focused at the same time. So there's no mucking about or anything. We're all together as a family, really, and working every day to further our chances of getting an opportunity to play again. Everyone here is, we're here for the same reason. So we're very like-minded players and we all get along very well. and. It's always sunny and beautiful here, as opposed to uh, where I was last year, where we had eight feet of snow and it's, ho it's homework until you go to bed. Ah uh, yes, homework. Speaking of which, just what is the deal with academic studies at CBA? There's kids who come who want to get a U.S. high school diploma. We have that. We offer that possibility through the American School of Las Palmas. We have kids who want to get an A level. We have that We offer that opportunity through through the Oakley College here of Las Palmas. Uh, some kids want to begin their university uh, uh, degree, and we offer that through the University of Las Palmas of Gran Canaria. So we have various options. And obviously, that schooling option means extra money. And that's the thing with CBA. It ain't cheap. But Rob says sending your son here should be seen as an investment in their future and is prepared to offer trial runs so players and parents get to see what they're getting into. I think before I can sell you on why you should come to my to CBA, uh, I think you should try and visit, see what we have to offer and compare it to other places, compare our coaches, compare our strength and conditioning coaches, compare our meals, compare the facilities we have to other places. Make, make an educated study of what you want to do for your son. It's, you know, uh, we, uh, we've talked about it a million times here at CBA. It, it, the ki kids nowadays think that just crossing the Atlantic and landing in an American high school is the end all. Well, no, you, as parents, this is a, this is a big decision to make in your, in your child's life. And if you don't make an educated decision, then it, it, you're being unfair to your child because we've had cases where kids have gone to the States and have come back terribly disillusioned in the situation they were put in because they didn't know where they were going. You know, here we offer every kid who wants to come and visit for a week, they can come and visit for a week, see what we have to offer, see if that investment that your parents are going to make in the academy is worth it. You know, talk to our parents, our, our former players, talk to our former players, they'll tell you how they feel about CBA. They'll, they'll let you know, you know, how it is here, how the coaches have acted, how interacted with you, how they've tried to help you, whether it's been in basketball, whether it's been in, in social problems, whatever situation, we, we're, we're there for them 24 hours a day. That, that would be my suggestion on how I would sell a kid. They have to see it for themselves and believe it for themselves.